So we're all familiar with the thermometer. We use it every day to check the weather outside before we leave our house. But what many of you may not be familiar with are the kinds of thermometers that we can use to check uh, the temperature and how it's changed in the past. These kinds of thermometers, called paleoclimate proxies, track changing climate conditions through time, which enables us to look into how past human systems and ecosystems responded to climate change, which then helps us figure out how to prepare for a future climate change. Now, there are a lot of different kinds of proxies that have been developed, but most of them lack seasonal resolution. And this is important because seasonal temperature changes influence the changing global winds that bring precipitation to ecosystems and human societies that need it. But there is one proxy that has the resolution that we need, snails. You see, when snails precipitate their shells, they incorporate a record of the sea surface temperatures at the time of shell growth. And because we can use radiocarbon dating to figure out exactly when these shells are from, we can use them to look into past changes in summer and winter temperatures and assess whether or not the global winds changed thousands of years ago. Now, I decided to take this proxy and apply it to a region of the world that has been historically understudied, North Africa. And I decided to look into a period of time known as the medieval climate anomaly, which was the most recent period of warming in the North Atlantic, and therefore is an analog to our modern climate change. Now, what we found was that in North Africa, during the medieval climate anomaly, we have significant drought, which contrasts with the warm, wet conditions that we see in Europe. Also, off the coast of North Africa, the sea surface temperatures were dropping rapidly, while the uh, uh, nutrient loads in the oceans were increasing. And what this means is that the local population was dealing with a drought that was unprecedented in other areas of the world. Also, these kinds of droughts have been shown to cause ecosystem and societal collapses in other civilizations in the past. Our modern climate models tell us that these same telltale signs of climate change are happening again. Europe is once again getting wetter, or yeah, getting wetter, while North Africa is getting drier. And this will eventually lead to increased resource insecurity, uh, ecosystem collapse, and geopolitical instability. So in geology, we often say that the past is the key to the future. But I want to add to that and say it is our responsibility to use these past records in order to create a future that is sustainable for everybody. Thank you.